Hey guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. Got a uh, little lockbox. I was running through Lowe's the other day and I saw this thing and I was like, you know what? This might be an ideal situation for, I don't know, just putting away some stuff. But in any case, I said, okay, for $29, what, what the hell do you got to lose? So let's take a look at this thing real quickly. First of all, I'd like to just say this product is not intended for secure storage materials, items such as firearms or other weapons, could bustle, blah, 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 blah. All right. So anyway, one of the things I just want to preface preface this video with is this I did not buy this to secure a firearm to not be stolen I bought this in hopes that it would be a nice little deal so we can keep firearms out of little hands so let's go ahead and open this up I haven't even done this thing hell it might be the biggest uh, loss of all so who knows anyway what you got here is a box it's just like that let's go ahead and unwrap the wrapping. Shoot. And I did not bring wait a minute, I've got a razor blade right here. Stand by. Alright, so we'll go ahead and just razor blade this thing open here. And this is a true unboxing. So let's take a look. What do we have? What do we have? Ah, pretty neat little deal. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do is go read the directions, figure out what we're doing with this thing. Comes with a key, obviously. Uh, that's what's there. And I guess we're going to have to utilize the key to unlock this thing. Now, this video is not as interesting as other things, but I'm going to be honest with you. Part of owning a firearm is keeping that booger safe and out of hands of the little folks. Whoa, dude, spring loaded. Digging that comes with a cable block right here, or a cable, so you can put that thing down. And again, like I said, the only reason this is being purchased is to put on the cabinet, you know? Um, that's pretty cool. Spring loaded, I like that. All right, so let me figure out how this thing works. Let's see, we got the battery operated. Four AA batteries right there. So let me go get some four AA batteries. And we'll get the program in this thing. Hold on. All right, guys, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and throw these batteries in real quickly here. And again, we're just going to put this together, together. I've been looking at these little hand saves, the fingerprinting thing, because ultimately, uh, as you know, in the last video, we were talking about the, the um, Walther PK380. Well, it's another interesting thing everybody's going to give me hell as I was given, talking about the laser and how useless they are. Well, I went ahead and bought another pistol, and it's coming next week. Whoa, what is that noise? Okay, there, batteries are in. Let's see if it still opens up. Ah, nice and slow. You can bolt this thing down to something. Let's see what's underneath here. Yeah, screw that bad boy down to uh, a nightstand or something, you'd be, be in business. Okay, so let's do this. The unmanly thing, read the directions. Here we go. All right, one thing to remember with this specific box, this is the master lock small digital lock box is that after the batteries are dead, so when the lock power fails due to dead batteries, the codes will be preserved for approximately three hours. After that time, the passcodes will be lost and will need to be reset. So this doesn't set out an alarm or anything letting you know the batteries are going to be dead. They're just going to die. So there you go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to program, set the first code, press the red code setting button on the inside of the lid. The light will turn orange and two beats we heard. Input a code one to eight digits using zero to nine keys. Press either the star or pound to confirm the saving the code. The light will flash orange once the two beeps are heard, indicating the first code has been saved. Here we go. So, all right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four. All right. So let's test that out real quick. Opening security. Enter either the personal code and press star or pound. Wait a minute. There it is. How cool is that? Press it down. There he goes. Locked. I mean, this is not the most secure box. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of disappointed in the security, but for $29 okay to be able to put a firearm in there 
boom. There it is. God, it's kind of flimsy. But again, I'm not using this to secure the firearm for criminals or people who would thieve. I just want something to put on top of my uh, vanity or whatever it is just to uh, secure it real quickly. But anyway, guys, that's it. It's very simple. This thing, you can put two different codes in and go from there. Let's talk about what size firearms will fit in this thing. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to unlock it, secure it. Here's a revolver, nice size. You can put that in there. Boom, she's locked up, ready to go. All right, so let's see, what else can we, can we put in here? That is the, uh, what do you call that thing? Springfield XDM. Perfect. So far, so good. Can you put two guns in there, I wonder? And have them lock up. I'll be damned. You sure can. Well, there it is. I wonder if we got that. Let's pull that out of there. That's perfect. This is this suits my needs. $29. Uh, I was looking at one of these, you know, the finger thingies, and I'm going to get that down the road. But for me to be able to sit something on top of my refrigerator just to store the gun, this is absolutely perfect. Boom. There we go. All right, guys. Go to Boy32. This is the Master Lock. Purchase this thing over at Lowe's for $29.99 comes with a warranty, all the neat stuff. Check it out. Go to Boy32, support your boys in blue, and as always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. It's Go to Boy32, out.